Good morning, dear ladies. My name is Jack Guy, and welcome to the classrooms. I think this is a game that's kind of based similarly to the back rooms. Is it picking up my mic? Hey, hey. Uh oh. <laughs> well, that's bad because I uh, make YouTube videos and I scream a lot and I'm gonna get killed by this. I'm excited about this. It looks cool. People were recommending it. Why not? Let's do a tutorial. Normally, I skip these and I regret it later and then people get mad at me. <laughs> okay. Okay. How do you work this thing? Like that. I'm gonna need my flashlight. Okay. Left mouse button, pick up flashlight. Ooh. And the batteries. Oh. Fresh batteries. Okay. Uh, take the van key. All right. I'm doing a simulator right now. Walk to the back of the van. You got it, Buster Brown. Wait, that's my light on? Oh, Lord. Uh. Ah, oh, cool. I'll find you, Mei Mei. Is that a meme? A Mei Mei? I'll find you, Mei Mei. I'll find my doge. Open inventory and read codex. Mystery deepens on missing children. School closed for early for summer. Students gone missing during school hours. Okay. Was was that is that the codex? The glass. Hope nobody hears this. Dude, this is way more involved than I thought it was going to be. Hell yeah, I'm a vandal. The power's off. Got to find the breaker room. This is so dark without my flashlight. Actually, so dark is <laughs> Not really cutting it. It's literally pitch black. Can I? There you go. Find the breaker room. Oh, I will. I'll turn on the lights and then pow! All the scares will be known to me. Hold on. Doors are very complicated. I'm literally... I'm pushing right and the door opens left. Who's rewinding my brain? Huh? Yeah, you want a lamp? I'll beat you up. I'll mess you up with some lamps and some books. I'll throw the I'll throw the bin at you. Never mind throwing the book at you. And the lockers cried out as if a thousand souls were trapped inside. Okay. Don't want to do that. Out we go! Man, this is so nice in the light. I'm sure those will stay on the entire time, right guys? Wait, where am I? This is not where I was before. You're in. Dun dun dun. The classrooms. Oh, the little girl dolly's gone. Neat, neat. Very neat. I like that. Look at these reflections. Oh, baby, get closer to them. You can eat food off of these reflections. That's... Oh, it is a screen space reflection. Never mind. Anyway. Let me just join the circle here. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, God. Hi, my name's Sean, and I can't stand chairs upright. Just every time I try, they fall over. You guys wouldn't understand because you're all sitting down perfectly. <laughs> I can't be here. Ah, oh, God, another room. Dear everyone, I will overcome my fear of chairs one day. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's some physics. Either I have the world's strongest throw, or that post-it note is as dense as Ant-Man. <laughs> Fuck yeah. What's going on out here? Is, is that actually happening, or are those my eyeballs freaking out? Excuse me? Tiny child? Show yourself, coward! Oh god, all these rooms with upright chairs. It's the freakiest thing! Bleh. 
Oh, no. <laughs> as jokey as I like to be, I don't like being in the dark like that. I bet this room gets hot as a sauna when there's a classroom full of kids in here, and that one tiny fan is helping this one student, and then everybody else has to suffer in sheer sweating agony. They can't even keep up with the fluid loss happening in their bodies. And then the teacher... The teacher says nothing! The teacher says nothing! No more jokes! No more bits! This is real! This is the real deal! What was that? Do it again! Ooh. Hello, little dolly. Why can't I pick you up? Kill it. Kill the child. Kill the child! You hit him with the chair! Okay. <laughs> I think I've proved my point. Just in case she's still there, but she's not of this realm. What is it with kids in horror stuff? Why are they so giggly and creepy? <clears throat> You're not alone, I know! I got a whole bunch of people watching me. I'm never alone. Get out. No, I don't think I will. Oh, it's just a really high teacher's chair. Oh, get out of my head! I see, I see. Oh, that chair's not as fun to throw around. You shouldn't have given me this ability. That's all I'm going to do in this game now. Those are some very impressive physics, though. Now I've made a barricade for myself. If the demons come, I'll be able to uh, lock myself in. Okay. These doors do not open the way I'm pressing. Oh, yeah. Keeping that one fan in this room. Hold on. Hold on, somebody could trip and fall out here, because I've pissed myself. There, that'll help. Hmm. Yeah, and this one too. Yep. Yep. There, now people will definitely know I've pissed myself. Caution, wet floor, I've pissed myself and cracked my pelvis. Whew, this is a big place. This is a very big place. Calculator! Quick, Google how to clear to dry your pants after you've pissed yourself. Quickest way to dry pants after you've pissed yourself. Ooh, can I play? Oh, that's Welcome not a good symbol. To the ARC training program. Our goal is to equip you with the knowledge and skills necessary to safely navigate the anomalous dimension known as the Lambda Superstructure. As you may know, ARC is dedicated to exploring and mapping out the Lambda Superstructure. This dimension can be a challenging environment, and it's important to be aware of the signs that indicate the presence of entities. If you encounter flickering lights, be aware that this may indicate the presence of an entity. In these situations, it's important to remain calm and take precautions to ensure your safety. Okay. If you find yourself in a dark environment, be aware that this may also indicate the presence of an entity. It's important to always have a source of light with you and to remain focused and alert. If you encounter a friendly looking animal, it's important to be cautious. Is that it? Okay. So, flickering lights means that something bad is in the room with me. We wish you the best of luck in your journey. Oh. Stay safe, and always be prepared. Okay, like Boy Scouts, got it. What's this say? Today is a great day to grasp the void. Oh! Drewer words have never been spoken. Time to tap into the void. Hello, monsters. It's under your skin. Tear it out, tear it out, tear it out. I don't want to. I just want to throw lamps around. All right, you'll come on with me, cup. What's that, monster? Oh. 
Is that really how far stuff loads in? <laughs> it's just gone. Okay. So does that mean I was... I mean, I was in a room with something. The lights were flickering, and then I walked up through it, and then... And then I got scared. Well, that's fucking bad. <gasps> Into the girls. I shouldn't be in here. <gasps> oh my god. Why are you in here, goblin? Oh, I guess you went. Oh, I actually saw it disappear in the mirror. That's cool. Oh, hey, look at those hips. Cha, 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 cha. Cha, 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 cha. Who's that handsome man? It's me. <laughs> cha, 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 cha. Nice. Keep your hips on a swivel. They always say keep your head on a swivel, but no one ever talks about the hips. Equally, if not more important. Dude, it's wild how interactable a lot of this is. Can I... That, that's impressive for a game like this. Even if it has no purpose for the gameplay. Holy God, that was bright. It's still impressive to have interactable elements like that. You don't often see it because it's probably a waste of time. Hey, uh, entities, it's me, your boy. I'm here to just fuck around and find out. I finally have the will to write something again. I have no clue what time it is. I think it's the ninth. <sighs> Trying to keep track, I can't. Time as ever is all the clocks. Uh, different and none of the light. I haven't slept in days, but I am tired. At all. I still haven't far... <laughs> I still haven't for food, but I haven't been hungry. They sent us through. Same with drinking something is... Okay, I can't actually make any of that out. Keep changing. This isn't the same as the real w This place, it was never made for C. Okay. I'm missing some crucial information in that one. Voice level. No voices. Whisper. Table talk. Speaker. Outside! Or there's another step above that, which is intercontinental sound break. That's me. 30 years from now, it won't matter what shoes you wore, how your hair looked, or the jeans you bought. What will matter is what you learned and how you escape. Jesus. Whoa. Okay. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. Man. School really sucks, huh? It really feels like you're in jail. Oh. That's... Back here. Oh, I went the wrong direction. Okay, this seems promising. I see the key. Whoa! Look at these! Are these from Google Images or are they AI generated? That's always the thing I think about now whenever I see games like this. Like this one and this one seem very AI generated. And I hope not. Anybody got a key? Actually, I feel like I've explored everywhere and I did not see a key. Reading takes you places. Yep. Yeah, these all look AI generated as well. Did you just type in creepy kids? <laughs> oh. Oh. This should open the elevator. Oh no! Oh my! No! Oh my god, that's weird! Don't you dare, you tiny little devil child. Oh! I love that when I turned around and caught her, she stopped. You could actually like see that split second of her stopping and then the dress still kind of wiggled. Very cool. Warning, due dates are closer than they appear. Safety first, walk, don't run. You're not my fucking legs. Okay. 
Are you in here? I hear that tiny demon coming for me. I don't know if she can open doors though. Get me out of here. Okay. Are you on the Z, the Y, the Z, or the X or the Y axis or the cock axis? Hold on, hold on. I have a job to do. Get I'm gonna throw it at the child. I'm gonna crack this child's porcelain face. I hear your wet little footsteps. Um, how do I- Oh! <laughs> I had to scroll. I thought that this was part of the page, not my inventory thing. <laughs> That's funny. This place, they told me it would be like what we saw in our dreams. But it isn't. Everything here seems empty, old, abandoned. I thought there would be people here. This place feels like the past, like a place time forgot. I keep hearing voices from the rooms off the path. They sound deceptively friendly, but at this point, I can't go back. I have no choice if I ever want to get out of here. Is the child deceptively friendly? Is that one of them? Oh, there's an entity. Are you in there? Okay. Something is very close to me. I feel like the kid is in here somewhere. Where is that? Nope. 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 <laughs> it was all fun in games when I could see you, but if I can't see you and you sound so near... Nope. 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 God, I wish I had my cup. <laughs> Your tiny little duck feet pitter-patter. Oh, this looks cool. Let's catch her. Let's catch her in the act. Why did I wait for her to catch up with me? This needs a key. Oh my god, another one? Another one? Are you kidding me? What happens if you catch me? I hope the key wasn't there. Okay, okay. This is somewhere like one of those TikToks where the, they have a baby duck. And it's chasing them, and it just pitter-patters across the screen. Okay. That's why you sounded so close. Okay, where would a guy find a key? Oh, she's close. Okay, the light stopped flickering here. ARC, Anomalous Retrieval and Containment. Uh, security Compromise, Senior Research, Jeremy Harris, ArcSite 35. You're off your rocker, Jimmy. Entities can't... something. You need to stop being paranoid about the potential risks, but more importantly, you need to stop wasting our time. We've had how many requests to up security funding to our facility? It seems every time we accept, you come back with an even more outrageous price. If I didn't know any better, it would seem like you were laundering our precious resources. And if you did know any better, and if you did know any better, you would keep your mouth shut about these constant unwaver unwavering requests because we both know what the price is for treachery. Damn. Is there a key in here? I don't want to be listening to this if the little dolly's coming after me. Welcome to the ARC training program. Our goal is to equip you with the knowledge and skills necessary to safely navigate the Wait, this is the same tape! Where am I gonna get a key? God damn it, I didn't see a key anywhere. No one my luck now is back actually at the exit, and I'm all the way back here for no reason. Oh shit. Oh shit. How did you Oh shit! 
Can I lock you in rooms? Does that work? I think so. I had to restart because I couldn't find a key. I, I literally didn't find a key anywhere. I searched high and low for like 20 minutes and I couldn't find a key. And everything's way different. That's kind of cool. Still no key though. There we go. Whoa. I don't know what this is for. Whoa. Whoa. Entity. Entity. Careful. Careful. Oh god, is it coming in here? It's leaving. Oh, that's cool! Okay, this is a completely different environment though. So now I don't know where to go to get to the exit. Now how do I... How do I get out of here? Oh, you suck! Stop! Stop! What? You crafty little child. <laughs> like, one more step! One more step! Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> what is that?! Oh! 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 Uh, this is a dead end! What do I do?! Everybody just chill out! Oh my god! Are you still here? Yep! Yep! It's still here! It's still here! I can't do anything! God! Man! I finally found the key and you kill me anyway! God damn it! Oh! I'm through! Nice! And I have the key! And I locked a child in a classroom! This is a great day! A wonderful day! I couldn't find the exit last time because it was hiding behind a bathroom stall. Which is also kind of cool. I wonder if that key fits this. Sure does. I mean it better! I don't have- I don't have another or better key that can do this! Okay, great. Great, great, great. Oh, not great. See, it flooded because you put up the toilets all upside down. Run around in toilet water. Damn, it looks cool though. It really is like SCP meets backwards. What is that? Whoa! Whoa! Brother! That's way scarier than the little girl. Do I have to get past him? I couldn't say anything. As soon as I went, what is that? He caught me. Okay, well, I have to be quiet. That sucks. Okay, glow stick, battery. Oh, hello. I actually have a lot of codexes on other things now. Like item 608, hazardous phenomena. Non-corporeal entity that manifests in locations devoid of light. Uh, Senior Jeremy Harris, the superstructure is changing. This has been documented before, but I fear these changes are more malicious in nature. More vents have been popping up in the Alpha and Lambda sections, and while this normally wouldn't be a concern, they have now been cropping up in areas directly inside our outposts, and often in areas outside of our camera's range. There's another issue as well. There is another issues as well. The security breach last month was first determined to be caused by an outside force such as... Okay. However, upon further investigation, more and more evidence has been pointing towards something far more disastrous. 
uh, are disastrous. The way the saboteurs were able to avoid detection implies they had prior knowledge on the layout of the facility, on top of this due to the nature of the breach and what was stolen. As well as well, there's no evidence, okay. This is, this is the other thing that caught me. Item 216 is a malicious entity that can be found in the Lambda superstructure. 216 appears to be a humanoid figure wrapped in a cloak. It's not typically visible as detailed below. However, the entity will manifest visually once it encounters a human and will attempt to pursue. Yep, that happened to me. Are you kidding me? When I asked for a level 3 clearance of this document, you could have just said no. This is useless to us. <laughs> it's all cropped out. There's the little doll! Anomaly 4. Is a malicious entity that can be found in the Alpha and Lambda superstructure sentient ceramic doll that can only move under certain conditions. These conditions are no sentient being is observing and another one. When either of the above conditions are achieved, the entity will aggressively pursue and eliminate any adult human the entity finds. The entity will focus on disabling the target's sense of sight. Okay, so this is the one I just picked up. I was right when I said it isn't safe here. That much was explained in the documents. Everything else is far more vague. There are documents that give very vague instructions of what to do, but often what not to do. Like to avoid dark rooms with vents in them, and to hide in lockers if we hear anything strange. There are some other documents of what seems to be specific things to avoid, but most of the descriptions are covered in black ink and it's impossible to decipher what it's supposed to be. At least, I know what they gave me. I know why they gave me a compass now, but it doesn't actually point north, it points towards where the entrance back into the school is. At least it should. It was also mentioned in the paper that there are multiple checkpoints they placed around the space that was in use before the incident. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, so where the bloody hell do I go? Was it just random that I ran into that dude? Oh. Shit, he's gonna be here. Is this filling up? I I don't know if that's a good thing. Should I am I gonna drown? I don't know what I'm supposed to be getting to. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. God, what is a fucking bright light for? How does raising the water help me? I have no idea. I feel like I'm just gonna drown and not be any wiser as to what is happening. God, when you're trying to critically think while being chased by something at the same time. Okay. Okay. He sucks. Maybe it'll drown him. Maybe it'll drown him before it drowns me. You know, because his head is lower. You didn't fucking say you needed a key. Oh my! Glad I found that before I drowned to death. Holy crap, he was terrifying! What was that? Oh crap, this whole place is dark. 
Oh, boy, though. You're gonna make me look for a fucking key again, aren't you? Okay, nice. Nice. Get out of here, chair! I'm a very important panic person. Codex entry. Researcher Grant Gauthier. I don't care what the senior researchers say, we need more subjects and we need to beef up our security. We lost 17 in the last exploration entry alone and we are starting to run low. This is not to say that the tests haven't been successful. In the past quarter we have discovered more than 47 new locations within the space and have recovered a large amount of anomalous items. However, the more we find out about this structure, the more perplexing and confusing it becomes. Entities have been becoming more and more frequent and have been spotted near the research outposts. I fear an attack is inevitable at this rate and we need to be prepared that being... That being said, we won't know how to deal with the threat without observing and exploring the structure. Okay. God, this light is so strong. I can't see what's in front of me half the time. Okay, that was this thing. This buddy. Avoid any contact with the entity. If spotted by the entity, make sure to stay around lit areas and to avoid any areas dim or devoid of light. Yeah, my torch just ran out. Speed is of utmost key in this game. Unless I'm finding fucking keys or somewhere around here. I don't really care. Get out of here. Batteries are good. Batteries are good. I can keep absolutely stocked up on batteries then. I hear him. I hear him. He's near. And he's somewhere! I don't know what happened! <laughs> okay, just run. Just run. This looks right. No, it doesn't. Oh, I can turn on the lights! I keep just assuming because the lights are out that they'll stay out. Unless he turns them off as soon as he enters the room and then it's completely pointless. It's completely pointless. Maybe I should be quiet. <laughs> Maybe having my voice detection on is actually ruining my experience because I'm getting caught by everything too easily. It didn't matter one fucking iota! I don't know where to go though. That looks promising. Yes! <gasps> this will this cut is the power. But that means all the lights are gonna be off. This is where I started the game. Why am I cutting the power? Why is that something you decided to do? Great. Are you kidding me? He drains my battery! Is that what was happening? I ran a battery real fast on that one! Oh my god, it's so hard to know where to go. I haven't been down here, right? That looks promising! Ow! Under construction. Hope you enjoyed this game so far. The next areas are still under construction. Check updates occasionally for new content. Oh man, I forgot that it was early access. I was getting so into it. I thought there was going to be so much more. Damn it! Oh, that was cool. I like that a lot. It gets a little tedious sometimes. Not only are the areas randomly generated, but the location of items within said areas are randomly generated. That can get really tedious really quickly. This one wasn't too bad because the areas weren't too big. It was just like collect one thing. If you had to collect like five things in a randomly generated space, then it would get really annoying, but 
This, I think, struck the perfect balance. But yeah, that was very cool. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching this. Again, don't forget to check out my coffee, bro. Lovely ray of sunshine bags. You want some on your shelf, go get some for yourself. Or if you like hot chocolate or tea, you can go get those as well. But it's one of the more prouder things that I've done in my career. So go check it out, please. Topofthemorningcoffee.com. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be keeping an eye out on more horror games coming out. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.